What's up guys, it is JBeebs here, and welcome to this first episode and the beginning of the Circle of Bruges career mode series. Basically, simple enough, I'm just going to be doing a career mode series with Circle of Bruges. Format of how it's going to work, I'm going to go through, look at each month, I'm going to play one game a month. Obviously there will be exceptions for cup games or title races, things like that. But mainly I'm just going to try to do one game every month. I also don't know... When am I gonna? When am I gonna stop this? Am I gonna stop once I win the league? Am I gonna stop once I win the Europa League or Champions League? If you comment down below what you guys want me to do, because I honestly don't really have a clue. I also don't know how long it's gonna take. But we're we're here for the ride, and that, that's really what's most important. All right, preseason. We're just gonna go for yeah. They're all the same difficulty. We're just gonna go for the biggest, best, most amount of money. All right, let's look at our objectives. So Youth Academy wants to sign two defenders and within two seasons sign four players to the senior team and play them in 20 matches, either as part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. That's very easy to do. Sign a player from Europe. Okay. Avoid finishing in the bottom part of the league and financially increase your, increase your club worth by 100%. All right. So I think smart move here is to go all out and invest in our youth academy he did not get a good starting youth academy which is is a shame but we do have a, we start off with a really at least one really good scout uh yeah we'll sign this scout and we should also be able to get ooh and we yeah we'll get this scout as well all right so We'll deal with that tomorrow. Now we gotta fix the team. Well, we gotta set up the team how I wanted things to go. I'm gonna play a 4 4 1 1 midfield. Ugo up top. Hotich in the middle. Vanderberg. I actually wanna put, yeah, Hoggis. Right wing is gonna be Musaba. Left wing, Killian Hazard. Left back, Corn. Then we got Bates, Marcelin, and Biacone with D. Dillon and Goal. So subs bench. All right. So yeah, that's how the team's gonna look. That's right, so we're gonna do a press after position lost five six. Balanced six four. Wings, cut inside, get in behind. Cut inside, get in behind. Don't want our center mids going into the box. Outside backs overlap. And yeah, that's going to conclude the team formation and things like that. So now, we can go through the squad hub and sort out our players. Okay, so we have plenty of goalies. But D. Dillon's hopefully going to be our starting goalkeeper for years and years to come. I think we'll keep... Let's see. So, I think we'll try to sell these two players. Because I also don't know what's going to come from the Youth Academy. I think we're going to... I think we'll keep Vitinho as like our back up outside back. We'll loan out Vilkovsky for the year. Cause I don't know like I don't know what's gonna happen with Korn. Center back say he's on loan. He's out on loan. He's old. He's on he's a loan player. And then he's a younger player. Right backs. Uh yeah we could use yeah he could be a good utility player for us. Just, I'm really just trying to make sure that there's. Ooh, I think we'll have to loan Lopez out. I'm just trying to go through and make sure there isn't any like players that are definitely, definitely going to be backups that are expecting to be playing just about every single game. All right, you also have to change player positions in order to fit the uh, formation. Go 
because we, I mean, we are, we're playing a 4-4-1-1 midfield. We don't need we don't need defensive mids. We need center mids. So we're just gonna simply go through do that. All right, now, and then we also need to switch the wingers back to outside mids because again, they're not playing. You know, they're not, we don't have wings in this formation. We got outside midfielders. All right, so that is actually relatively easy. So our best players, amazing goalkeeper, good attacking mid, good center mid, we got some very solid French players. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think I think the team's in a pretty good spot right now, heading into the future. All right, uh, not gonna worry about training right now. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead. We'll advance. I'm not gonna worry about training till next month. All right, so now we got all those players. Going to talk about their transfer list and, and loans. All right, so now we can set up our youth scouts. So looking at the team, for sure we want defenders. I think we simply just go defensive-minded, technically gifted, and, and wingers or attackers. So Slavo Konic. That's here. We're in Belgium, so I think we'll scout in France. The Netherlands in Belgium. So obviously, we want some Belgian defenders. We want some technically gifted French players and some attackers from the Netherlands. Wait, I don't have the budget. I thought I, I thought I planned that out so we would have budget. Oh, I guess I overestimated or underestimated the price of things. Whatever, we'll just worry about that once once the first once the preseason's over we can send that scout out. No, I do not want him I'll do a simple I'll do a one year loan, but I don't want loan to buy. So wait, we have a players with Oh wait, yeah, he's he's on the bench. Alright, Lopez is flare, but Cone's an early crosser. Yeah. He's a team player, we'll keep him as captain. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, just, we're we're just not even bothering with preseason right now. I mean, ever, you're only ever really in it for the money anyway. All right, next preseason game. Zero zero. Oh, we should have won that. We had four shots. They had one. Um, okay, so Gremio have agreed to that one year loan for Lopez. Shall we will accept? Actually, I'm okay with this loan to buy. Yeah, we'll accept the loan to buy. Uh, yep, one year loan, with, that works perfectly for me. Yeah, I'll do a 60-40 wage split. 1.25. Can we bump that up to a uh, 1.5 or 1.4? How about 1.4 million? 
Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad of a business deal there. Just got an extra 250,000 euros. Or 150,000. August. No, he's their starting center mid. No way. Yep, and we'll probably just lose this game. And pre but then the preseason will be over. Oh, we won. But Ugbo got a red card. So that, that could be a slight issue. Alright, so Lopez completed his loan move. We got money from preseason. And Ugbo is out for the rest of the preseason. Netherlands attackers. Alright, uh, that's sorted out, and we got enough money to really sign some, just gotta sign some players, really. Well, sign youth players. We're not gonna buy anybody this first season. Actually, I think we might just have to, I think we might just have to buy, like, a, uh, like a really bad player, just on, like, a one-year deal. Or sign them and loan them out. For the... Brand exposure, I think it was. Time we're supposed to sign one player from Europe. Uh, yeah, well, you can go to, you can go to the MLS. All right, position change. Development plan. Change position. All right. And Velvovsky has completed his loan move to Strasbourg. Wait, huh? Yeah, what? I got to double check that. It was what? Sign one player from Europe. Well, I know exactly who I want to sign. I am a Cambridge United fan, so I know. Basically know the team pretty well. And I know who is absolute garbage and is worth signing for a little low money. Ben Warman. He's been at the club for a while. I don't think he really, really has any potential of ever playing for the club. Or playing significant minutes. I think he's just... A youth player. Yeah, obviously everyone's dead for the game, but almost almost won on penalties, so I'd say a pretty decent start. Made it to the semifinals of preseason. Got us a pretty good amount of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. All right. So, if anything that preseason has told me that we need to change our training to intermittent rest because if we have a couple of like oh yeah well it doesn't okay actually never mind so i know like in the lower leagues well especially in the fourth tier of english football it's non-stop like it's like non-stop games like you literally especially if you sent my well in the cups from like october well, really, really September, September to March, you play like every three days. Yeah, we can, you can go out and you can leave at the club as well. All right, and Van Dam did get sold. And if he's going to FC Dallas, give us a little bit more money in the transfer budget. We're up to two mil. I actually go ahead and sign a player. I think we're probably going to wait to sign somebody till the next transfer window. Or actually one thing I like doing is once the transfer window ends and I know I want a player in the future, if I know if like if I know oh, I want a I want a goalkeeper, I'll sign a young goalkeeper like a week after the first transfer window ends. And then with that money and then I sign him for his value at like a 65 overall but if he grows to like a 69 overall i still i'm only paying for him at that 65 overall price it's a little bit of smart business all right and we're about to have our first game of the season oops that was the wrong one all right so looking at the team got ozzy ugbo up top i mean team I mean, we're looking pretty 
decent. I am a little concerned about the pace of our center backs. But I really don't think that will be that much of an issue, hopefully. Um, yeah, we need to get another center mid on the bench there. Uh, yeah. And uh, we can head into our first game. Alright. Pre Pre-match press conference. You know, it's always important to, uh... Inspire the team, give the fans a little bit in insight before you head into the brand new season. He'll be fine. Well, Ty gets one red card and everyone thinks he's the worst striker in the world. Alright, I just gotta save because, not because I'm gonna like cheat and like, oh, this game didn't technically happen. It's because with FIFA, you never know, sometimes, after you finish a game, it literally just quits on you. Like you guys will probably see at some point throughout the series, like, if I read, if I read an email and I go to exit out, sometimes it literally just gets stuck. So they're playing a pretty offensive formation. Which we might be able to take advantage of with that attacking with our attacking mid Hotich. I don't exactly know. But there is a slight chance that we will be able to. Yeah, back post. Just kinda get just kinda get some of the skills working again. This is my first game of the day. I tend to usually play worse. Pretty, I, don't, I don't always play the best in my first game of the day. And we're starting off at home. Even better. At the John Bradle Stadium. Against Standard Liege. Hopefully, this is a good game. Yeah, you guys already saw the lineups. They're playing a 4 through 3 attack. Alright. The first game of the season, I think for me, no matter what season it is, is always the most interesting. Because usually there's at least one new player. And again, it's also the opening game of the season, you know. Everyone's tensions are a little high. No one knows really what to expect yet. Good ball into Hotich. Go Hogas. Go Hogas. Oh. So one reason why I did decide to choose a 4-4-1-1 instead of a 4-2-3-1 is that I want those, I want those center mid runs. And just like that, I mean, if that's a better finish, that's we're one nil up, four minutes in. Ah, I thought he, I thought he came back on side with that last run. But at least we were piling the pressure on. That was a handball, but Ruff didn't call it. So I'm still also kind of trying to figure out what is their defensive plan. So hold on to the ball. Nothing's there, so take it yourself. Back post. Hazard. Ooh. Wait, he's still on the ball. Have a rip. Whip that in. Ah, oh, he's offsides. Okay, okay, but this is good. This is promising. This is what I like. This, this, we're in a good position right now. You know, they are getting bombarded, like, non-stop. Oh, what's that in? There we go. What a beautiful goal. Excellent teamwork. Excellent start to the season. Good to get a goal in the first 12 minutes. Good job by Ugbo getting out there. Good cross into Hotich. Hotich passes it off to, who is that? Is that, is that Vandenberg? Oh, it's Hogus. Alright, so his picture, he has blonde hair, but in the game, he has brown hair. Okay. And just like that, we're, we're cruising to a nice... I mean, we're, we're in a good position right now. 1-0 up. 12 minutes into the game. I've yet to see them do anything productive. Good interception there. Can't complain about that. That was definitely the right idea. 
Good win, good win. Alright, now, yeah, carry the ball a little bit. Alright, Hotic, midfield maestro. Got a shot. Ooh, 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 we are sailing to victory, ladies and gentlemen. We are cruising to victory. They're their defense can't handle us. This is a good sight. Yeah, I mean, I think it. I think they. they, they I mean, they, they have too many players going forward. We have too many players going forward. It's just that we also have some slight defensive stability because we're not playing. I mean, I could switch this team to a four-three attack, but the only, but this is exactly why I do not want to. It's because teams obviously are attacking as well. Like if it's if you're just doing an exercise to see, oh, can I, how many goal, how many scores can I, ugh, how, how many goals can I score in a game? Then yeah, I would obviously play a four through three attack. But that obviously I'm not. And they're playing such a high line. Like I, I know that there isn't like a. I know teams don't change up their tactics because of the team you're playing. But like, obviously, I don't know how. Oh, geez, how much our players follow the uh, tactical instructions and ideology and look in the preseason. But uh, we play. I mean, yeah, our players run in behind, wings and striker run in behind, every single time. So we can get goals just like that. I think I might have the biggest win of the season in this first game. Like they, they literally cannot stop us. Like I think we might have our biggest victory in our very first game. I mean, I'm not going to complain about. The only problem is expectations are awfully high now. And you set the bar too high, you're bound to not reach it. Yep. Okay, they just kick it out. Yep, played in the Musaba. That post question mark? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, sure, we'll take that. Hotich whips it in. Ooh. Hazard touch. Big shot. Ooh. It's okay, it's okay. Obviously I would love for Hazard to thrive with this team. You know, I would like for the Hazard brothers. To be the best set of brothers in the world, in history. You know, obviously Thorgan's still young and developing. I mean, Killian's also young and developing. He's just not at as high of a level as his brothers. And then they're offsides again. <sighs> yeah, that was a bad decision. Oh, I missed that tackle. Oh, wait, win the header. There, look at that. Oh. If that through ball could have gotten through, that probably would have been the cleanest goal. Of oh, that's a foul. And that's out of bounds. Yeah, she comes short, Marcelin. Yeah, that was my bad. Forgot. I they have to be playing like constant pressure. Because they press so high and it's not on command. 
It's not like, oh, we just lost the ball. Okay, I see them. I see the def I see the defenders pressing up a little bit. It's literally just like, oh, hey, by the way, we're pressing now. All right, well, yeah, we'll we'll take the corner. See if we can end the half with a nice goal. Ooh. Well, that fan just ended the ha half with a nice souvenir. Let's go and ho titch. Mark this man short. All right. Not bad. Not at all a bad start. Up 3 1 at half. Team is playing very well, playing very fluid. Oh no. What a say what a stop there. Whew. I will say their pressing is effective. Okay, my goalkeeper is an idiot as well. I will say their pressing is quite effective if it works. And if it does not work, it is quite breakable. Like I said, pressing is quite effective. However, the minute it breaks down, it breaks down. I guess they got a good goal. They got a good goal towards the end of the half, and they almost got a goal just then. However, we can score on command if we can break that first wave of pressure. I also don't really know how I should feel about this game, because I think this might just be, you know, this is, their tactical ideology is just so poor, that is making us seem very, very good. Like, I don't know how this team would perform against, like, a regular, a team that just plays, like, a very, a very basic, like, style. Like, look at these lanes that are being opened. Like, yeah, we're even going to get the ball to Hotic. Like, those lanes are so open all... Like, I, I genuinely am concerned for this team's manager's mental sake. Like, I understand it's probably different in real life compared to FIFA. But, I mean, still, you can't press for 90 minutes of a game. Especially playing a 4 3 attack, like, I get it, you know, high pressure, you know, win the ball back. I used to play like that, because I knew it wasn't realistic, and with my, with the player assignments I would have on players, it would work. However, it's obviously not working for them. Tactical foul. Oh, jeez. Like there, that pressing worked. But here, pressing won't work. Oh, find the second midfielder. Thank you. Boop, go, run. Oh, guys, with the goal? Yes, sir. Six to one. I mean, we're, we're, we're legitimately cruising. We... It, really, nothing is in our way right now. I don't think we could be playing any... I mean, other than that one goal, I don't think we could be playing any better. I think it's the 66th minute, and I'm bored. It's not even like, oh, you know, it's a tight game, we're trying to hold on. No, it's legitimately a thrashing. It's a murder. It's the perfect way to start your managerial career.
And that had ooh. Good block. Get the ball out, please. Dog, oh, really? I think that's pretty soft. I mean, he shot the ball. He, but in his follow through, he stepped on my guy's foot. He's going right. And he's going very right because he missed. Ah, uh, and hearing those home fans jeer as he missed. Ah, uh, unfortunate hazard. Alright, we're going to make some substitutions. Yep, Hogus's tires will put in Panute. And... Yeah, we'll put Vitinho in for Bayern Cone. And Summers in for Musaba. Good. Counter, counter, counter. Hazard. No, don't play him. Oh, I actually do play him. Actually, no, yeah, don't play him. You see, I wasn't trying to hit him. I was trying to hit... I think it was... H Hogus. That you saw, like, heading more right and head instead of further down. Splitting those two center backs. That's what I was trying to do. But, didn't work. You know, it's a learning process. And Hazard's also not the greatest of passers. He's more of a uh, dribbler. You know, that, that's going to take some getting used to. It's going to take some learning. And I'm okay with that, you know? Also, I do have to learn pretty fast. Ooh. Aww. Because, I mean, I think we're only going to play, like, t like t probably 12 games with all the cup and the playoffs. We're, li we're likely only to play, like, 12 games this season. You know, obviously things will be different in the future when we get to potentially the Champions League or Europa League. But t again, I don't know. I don't know when to, you know, I haven't, d I haven't really done crew mode series like this. I've, I do a lot of, like, Road to Glories, and that's... I mean, the main goal of that is to go through win the Champions League. There's a definite end. I don't know when I'm going to end this series. Which is why, I, probably when we're getting to that point. Hopefully by then I got a big enough following where I could ask you guys. And you guys could give me a legitimately good answer. That's a foul. Ref. That's not a foul, really. Yeah, I'll probably be, when we get to that point, hopefully this series is doing enough and my channel is doing well enough where I can ask you guys, you know, in a video or even like a comment in the community tab, you know, what should I do? What do you guys want? Oh, what was that? Played across. Fancy <laughs> goal. Rub salt in the wound. What is up, 7-1? Game over. Game over. Hazard with the... The, whew, the disgust. The cockiness. To pull that out in the game. 7-1 victory. Wow. Wow. Not too bad. I, I'd say it's not too bad of a start. Yep. Let's start, let's go. Let's go to our post-match interview. Now, obviously, the months will start to go by quicker in the middle of the season when it's just a lot of games, a lot of voilà, training, you know, simple things like that. Oh. Dean's not at all done. Yeah, Ugbo's a. He played amazingly. Merci
Like he got he got a red card in a preseason game. Obviously, that's not ideal. However, it's just a preseason game. All right, we got our final scout on Ben Warman. As you can see, oh, he's he's up to a 51 overall. It might cost us almost 200 euros. 200,000, that is. Okay, we'll put in a transfer offer for him. Start the offer at 140. Don't offer more than 140. Sounds like a plan. And if it turns out he actually, like, isn't technically a player from Europe, even though he is, then he's not. Then he's just not that big of a deal. All right. To accept, yeah, you're not even worth. It's not even worth negotiating a contract with you. I'm sorry. Alright, well, that is going to conclude this episode of the Circle of Bruges Career Mode series. Pretty good start in next month. I think we're playing... Ooh. No, I think we'll play against Anderlecht. So if you haven't, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Again, tell me when should I end the series. Should it be once we win the league? win the Europa League, win the Champions League, whatever. I hope you all have enjoyed and hope to see you again. And until then, it is Jay Biebs signing off.